All right. I'm having a lot of fun doing these, so I'm going to do another one today. First, I'd like to point out that I failed Crixus. He rolled a shield on one of the rolls in the last match that should have reduced the two wounds he received to one. Does it make that much of a difference? Probably not, but he could have lived maybe another turn. And maybe changed the tide of the battle. But anyway, let's just grab a random glyph here and a random glyph here for the next match. All right, defending their title again are going to be the Knights of Weston, again with Sir Denric. They are going up against the Deathstalkers and Sir Hawthorne. Let's take a look at the army cards of the competitors today. Getting real familiar with the Knights of Weston. You. Human champion bonding. Before taking a turn with the Knights of Weston, you may first take a turn with any human champion you control. They also have a coward's reward. Knights of Weston roll one additional die against figures leaving an engagement with them. And returning with them again is Sir Denric, who has a coward's reward. Sir Denric rolls one additional die against figures leaving an engagement with him. And giant killer. When Sir Denric attacks huge figures, add two attack dice. And, hoping to take the victory off the knights today, we have the Death Stalkers with their ability Maul. When rolling attack dice against a small or medium figure, if a Death Stalker rolls a skull on every die, the defending figure receives a wound for every skull and cannot roll any defense dice. And we have Sir Hawthorne, who has Blind Rage Special Attack. Range 1, Attack 3. If Sir Hawthorne rolls at least two skulls with his Blind Rage special attack, Sir Hawthorne may attack again with his Blind Rage special attack. Sir Hawthorne may continue attacking with his Blind Rage special attack until he rolls fewer than two skulls. He also has Stab in the back. After you take a turn with Sir Hawthorne, you must roll the 20-sided die. If you roll a 1, choose an opponent. That opponent now controls Sir Hawthorne. Remove any order markers on this army card and give that card to the opponent. I can tell I was painting a paint on my fingers. Gross. Anyway, hoping I can actually remember every ability this time, we will begin. Blue will represent the Knights of Weston, and this reddish black will be the Death Stalkers. Initiative for round one. Three for the Death Stalkers, ten for the Knights. The Knights will start us off. Here's the arena this time. Now, this is the first common clash that has special rules terrain, and today is going to be road and water. And here are the rules for water, real quick. When you move onto a water space from any other space, even from another water space, you must end your movement. So even though he has a movement of four, go here would stop his turn. Even if a movement of four, going here would stop his turn. Moving out of water, since it is lower than this hex, you would count the side of the hex normally, like you were moving up. So that'd be one, two, three, four, and you can continue your movement when moving out of water. Now, double space figures, they have the advantage of being able to move across water spaces without stopping as long as there is only one water space. They stop whenever they enter two. So this Death Stalker could go one, two, three, four, five. Started here, one, two, three, four, five. And since they have a movement of seven, that is a legal move. Anyway, let's go over to roads. Roads are pretty simple. Moving on road spaces... Count each space as a normal space. However, if your figure's entire movement consists of road spaces, including the starting space, you may add an additional three spaces to your figure's move. So this knight, with a movement of four, starting on a road space, could go one, two, three, four, and still continuing on roads, one, two, three. As long as they start and end and each movement space is a road space, they can get that road bonus. All right, the first order marker is going to be on the Knights of Weston. Surprise, surprise. They are going to bond with Sir Denric, who has a movement of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the knights are also going to go. And we will go one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then. Three, four. All right, that was turn one. Let's move over to the Death Stalkers, who do not have any bonding. So their first order marker 
It's going to be on the Deathstalkers, and they have a movement of seven. So we will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's their three. Okay. Now, knights are going to go. We got Sir Denric is going to go first. Okay. He is going to take this road spot here. One, two, three. And he's going to attack down. And a Death Stalker is only large, so Denric still does not get his giant killer ability. But he does have a normal four attack. And one for height. Go ahead, attack them for four. Now, the Death Stalkers have a chance. Not a very high one, but with five defense dice. Ooh, almost, almost. The first victim of the battle. Now the knights are going to go. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Started and ended on road. One, two. Okay. This one's going to attack down on that one. He's got a normal attack of three, plus one for height, which is one. Death Stalker blocks. Okay, same level. We're going to do the same level on the rear of the Death Stalker here. Two. All right, not blocked. Done. Knights are already doing pretty good. Hmm. Guess you don't want to watch any more Hero Escape. All right, now we have the Death Stalkers again. Let's get some fresh ones up here. We will move from the back since that knight is pretty close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one's going to go there. And we'll move from the back, goes from the front line. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one's going to stop there. This one here is going to stay engaged. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, first off, same level on that one. And again, it has Maul. When rolling attack dice against a small or medium figure, if Deathstalker rolls a skull on every die, the figure receives a rune for every skull. Rune. One wound. You can't roll defense dice. So let's see. That is not all skulls, but that's still a good roll. Two against the knight's four. <laughs> Those knights, they don't want to give up, which is good. Okay, this one's going to attack down with height. Height makes the mall a little harder to get, but that was two. One. One knight dies. Now, same level on that knight there. That is a mall. You can't roll defense dice. You've been mauled. Alrighty. Mall madness. That was the turn for the Death Stalkers. Let's go to the Knights. No, wait, that was the Knights' third order marker. My mistake.
I tilted the order marker early last turn. This is the third order marker for the Knights. Denrick is going to go, and he will he'll go here, and he'll attack up on that Death Stalker. Three. Now Death Stalker has five and one. The height does not defend. Gonzo. The knights are gonna take their turn. One, two, three, four. He's gonna go for the glyph here, which is Glyph of Oreld. So we did that one, which is the intercept order, and I believe it's on a roll of ten. Or higher. On a roll of 10 to 20, remove one random order marker from an opponent's army card. It's 15, so one of those two. Now, um, this is the 3, this is the X, so we will take the glyph itself. Heads, this one. Tails, that one. Okay. Tails. So the three is removed, and they lose their last turn, but it was Hawthorne, so that was just pretty much a wash. Now we've got one, two, three. We've got one, two, three, four. This knight is going to attack that Death Stalker. Same level for three. This Death Stalker is five and fails to block next up is gonna be this knight attacking that death stalker for two and that is a block that is the end of the first round so let's get the d20s here and roll for initiative we've got 12 on the death stalkers 18 on the knights Let's get this. Knights are going to start us off with Denrick. Two, three, four, five. He's going to go there, and he's going to attack down on Sir Hawthorne. That's going to be one. Heading towards Sir Hawthorne. Sir Hawthorne takes a damage. Receives one wound. The knights are going to go. One, two, three, four. This one's going to go one, two. He'll stop there. That one will stay there. One, two, three, four. That one's going to go there. All right, that was order marker number one. Now we'll move over here. And it's actually going to be Sir Hawthorne. He's going to attempt a wild swing special attack. Or not a wild swing, a blind rage. Blind rage special attack. So if he rolls at least two skulls, he can keep going. First, he's going to attempt to hit the knight that's on the same level as him. Two skulls, so he will be able to continue going. But this knight's got two coming at him. Blocked. Okay. Another blind rage special attack. Got two coming at him again. The knight cannot defend a second time. Hawthorne hacks him to bits. And now that was two skulls. Hawthorne is going to attack again with the Blind Rage special attack. This time he's going to try and attack Sir Denric. So that's two. All right, Denric. Denrick blocks it. Hawthorne goes again with the Blind Rage special attack. Only one this time. This is his last Blind Rage swing. Denrick deflects it. No problem. And now, let's see if Hawthorne betrays. Stab in the back. He does not. That's a 17. Hawthorne 
remains loyal to the Deathstalkers. Taking out one knight and taking a few swings with that blind rage wasn't too bad. So let's move over here now. We are going to go with the knights. Denrick is going to start. He's going to stay there. He's going to swing down on Hawthorne. So that's going to be three heading towards Sir Hawthorne. None shall pass. Ooh, two wounds for old Hoth. Okay, Knight. Knight of Weston. One, two, three, four. Bum, 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 bum. Glyph. Four. This one will stay here. Two, three, four. We'll bring up there. This one's going to attack. That's one. Blocked. Now let's go over here. Take a peek. Looks like Deathstalker's order marker number two. Deathstalkers activate. Ooh. One, two, three, four, four. This one's going to stay there, but I'm going to turn him that way because it's bothering me that his tail was toward the other one. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, height down on the knight. Get four attack dice, making the ball a little more difficult. So three. And the knight does not block. You still got, well, technically you were mauled, I guess. All right, Deathstalker on Denric. For two, Denric for defense, plus one from height, so he's going to defend. For two, blocked. And this Deathstalker is going to attack same level knight. That is a maul. Kill them that was a pretty decent turn, I guess. Two units dead. Move over here to the knights and their third marker. Danrick is going to attack. He's going to attack Hawthorne. Four for height. Or four, normally. One for height. So that's two. Sir Hawthorne blocks one. Denrick's chipping away. Sir Hawthorne's only got two HP left. Two life. Knights. Let's take this glyph. One. Glyph of Astrid. Attack plus one. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. He'll stop there. First attacking down. Or attacking up. That's going to be three. Five normally, one for height. That's going to be one. And by my calculations, that is a dead death stalker. That is all the attacks that the knights can make. We will go over here now. Order marker number three, the Death Stalkers. That one's gonna stay, that one's gonna stay. This one will stay, that one will stay. Okay, 
attacking up on Denrick. For one. Four normally, one for height. Does not block any of it. Receives his first wound of the game. Now attacking up on Denrick again. Three. That's a maul. Three for Denrick. Wow. Pretty good. That's the end of the round. Let's get up the D20s. Get that next round started. Got 17 for the Knights, 15 for the Deathstalkers. That might be pretty critical for the Knights. First, Denrick is going to go. He's going to attack down on Hawthorne. Four normally, one for height, and one for the Cliff of Astrid. So that's two. Blocks one. He's got one life left. Okay. That's all for him. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This knight is going to attack down on that death stalker. One, two, three. Normally, height, glyph. Four, three. That's a lot of skulls. Too bad you weren't rolling that for an attack. Dead. Could have moved to fourth night. Yep. You snooze, you lose. I do it every video. I do it every video. That could definitely change the outcome of the game. You know what? That attack, that one more night, isn't going to make a difference. So, I am going to actually do this correctly because, like, the Crixus thing, it'll sit and bother me and I'll be like, should I just redo the whole video? But, yeah. So... We will have moved one, two, three, four that night there. There. Not that big of a difference, but if you're playing this game and locking your opponent out of stuff that often and that frequently, not, not very cool. So, number one, we've got on the Death Stalkers. They are going to go one, two, three. That one's going to go there. One, two, three, four, five. I was going to go there. Okay. So, first off, this one is going to attack that knight. For two. One. Ooh. Same level is going to attack that knight. Two. That's blocked. And the Death Stalker is going to attack up on Sir Denric. For a maul and a kill. Height does not save you, Denric. Okay, Knights of Weston are up. No more human champion to bond with. Not a human champion. Yeah, human champion. The knights are going to activate, and this time they're all going to move. They've got to go for that glyph. That's pretty much a lost cause attacking the front lines now. If that glyph isn't saved. Sorry, buddy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First, this one is going to attack same level. For 
for one. Nothing. Blanked. This one is going to attack same level. Nothing. Blanked. That's it. That's all the attacks they can do. That's order marker number two. Order marker number two over here is on the Death Stalkers. So let's see. This one's going to go here and take the glyph. One, two, three, four. Now, one, two, three, four. Same level is going to attack. Nope, can't. I moved this one and this one and that one. So, lower is going to attack up, but has an extra die because of the glyph of Astrid. For one. And blocked. Lower is going to attack up again. For two. One more for height. Only rolled one. Not blocked. Ah! Dead. Okay, that was order marker two. And... Now for order marker number three on the knights. They are one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This knight is going to attack down on that death stalker. Three attack dice normally, one for height, for two. Blocked. Okay. This knight is going to attack down on the Death Stalker. Three normally. One more for height. For one. And that's blocked too. Same level attacking that Death Stalker. <laughs> Blank. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm in danger. Death stalkers are gonna go. This one is gonna turn like that, and that might as well. Yeah, don't even need to move. This death stalker, same level, is going to attack across the knight. It's three normally, one for the glyph. One. One blocked. This one is going to attack cross. Whoops. Dice down. Die down. Dice is multiple. Two. Not blocked. Oh. The knights. They ain't doing so hot. It's going to attack up. Three normally, one for the glyph. For one. Four normal defense, one for height. Blocked. And that is the round. Now we will go. It's going to be four for the knights, eight for the death stalkers. up it doesn't matter there is no denric army card the denric does not exist first off it's going to be sir hawthorn and he's going to move up one two three he's going to go there and he is going to do a normal attack up on the knight. So four normally, one for the glyph. So three. Four normally and one for the height. Not blocked. Hawthorne claims a life. 
Now we roll to see if he stabs in the back. Five. He's fine. Let's go over here to the Knights of Weston. Their order marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And this one is going to attack the Death Stalker. For two. Blocked. That's it. Go over here. Death Stalkers are up. And we are going to just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This Death Stalker is going to attack up on the knight. Three normally, one for the glyph. I made a mistake. This Death Stalker should have attacked. I was too eager to move. But that's a little different than forgetting to move a knight from the back. That's as uh, you lose. Like I said, you got to do it at least once, I guess. Anyway, one. And he is on height, so he gets one extra. Blocked. Okay. Number two on the Knights. You're going to stay. One, two, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, he'll just stop there, actually. One. Two, three, four, five, six. He'll go there. All right, this one's going to attack the one on the glyph. Let's see if forgetting to defend that glyph with the Death Stalker costs me. Nope. Still probably could have killed that knight. Anyway, this knight, same level, attacking that Death Stalker. For one. Blocked. Knight with height right here, attacking down on that Death Stalker. Stay normally, one for height. It's going to be one. Blocked. And Knight on height again. This one attacking down on that Death Stalker. For three. I think this might be. The end for this Death Stalker. Oh no, so close to Armageddon. Time is coming soon. Ready. There she is. There's the alrighties. Hitting them up. Number three order marker on the Death Stalkers. This one is going to stay there, and this one will perform an attack this turn. There, now I will not forget. One, two, three. That one's going to stay there. One, two, that one will stay there. The height is good, but it's making the mall harder to hit. So, first, same level across, but also having this glyph, but if the knights have it, it's bad. So, same level, glyph defense for two. Blocked. This is going to attack down. Three normally, one for the glyph. One for the height. For one. Blocked. This Death Stalker is going to attack up on a knight. Three normally, one for the glyph. That's going to be three. Four normal defense, one for height. For three, blocked. Man. These knights are hard to take down. That is order marker number three from the Death Stalkers. Not a very fruitful turn. 
Order number three, Knights of Weston. Stay, stay, stay. This one's going to go up here. Yeah. It's not worth risking a disengage. I got three more knights in reserve back here. So, first off, we are going to try and get that glyph back. The knights, they don't really want to stop their winning streak. For two. And he takes him out. The glyph is open. This one's going to attack across. Same height. For two. Woohoo! Some very critical rolls failed on the Death Stalker's part. This one's going to attack down. Three normally, one for height. That's going to be two. Blocked. Wow, you did one thing. Okay, and I might as well just set up the order markers again. Ooh, what's the? What's he going to do? What's the, What's this guy going to do? What's oh, different? No, no, I don't know what those order markers are. All right, initiative critical here. Seventeen for the knights. Nine for the Death Stalkers. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's go here. One, two. Taking the glyph. Yeah, of course. And you're going to stay there. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four. We're going to take a chance here. Take a chance on me. This is going to attack down. Three normally. One for the glyph. One for height. That's going to be three. Defense got three coming at you. Two. I don't know if you know this, but uh, rolling less shields than skulls coming at you equals you did. That was a gamble. And now this guy's going to attack down on Sir Hawthorne. One, two, three, normally. One for height, one for glyph. Three. Blah. Oh, no, he receives one. And that is it for Hawthorne. Oh, no. Well, did they lose an order marker? Time will tell. Well, I mean, clearly they did because there were two on Hawthorne. But which one is yet to be seen? Goodbye. He did pretty cool with the, with the uh, Blind Rage special attack, but alas... Thine life canst not continue. Deathstalkers. They were actually order marker number one. Deathstalkers are going to go here. One, two, three, four, five. This one's going to go there and there. And this one will go here. Wait. Wait. Two, three. Yeah, I did that right. Okay. This one's going to attack across. For none. This one's going to attack up. Maul. Maybe getting those glyphs and height weren't good for the Death Stalkers. Adding more dice makes it harder to hit that maul. Okay, we're going to attack up again. another mall oh man this one's coming down to the wire okay Order marker number two knights of weston we are gonna go one two three four five six seven that one will stay one two three four one two three four we are gonna attack down twice well, hopefully once. One, two, three, normally. One for the glyph, one for height. Well, one. 
That's five dice. One coming up as Deathstalker. And that's enough! That is enough! <sighs> nice. Okay. And we will move over here. Air marker number two. The Death Stalkers. He will go one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now the knights get to respond and make chase. So we will go, he'll go up there. He'll go there. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one's going to attack down on that Death Stalker. Three normally. Height, glyph. That's going to be two. And one, dead. Now, you may be wondering why I moved these Death Stalkers over here. It was not to guarantee the Knights victory. I was hoping they could get away from the height attacks from the Knights and maybe secure that glyph, because while it is harder to hit them all with more dice, it's better to roll more dice. So, that plan is likely not working out. We'll have this Knight attack that Death Stalker, three normally, one for the glyph. So, two... The Death Stalkers maybe could have taken out some knights. Maybe. Two. Blocked. Alright. That is the round because they lost their third order marker, which was on Hawthorne. I was hoping to get one more turn in with him. Fifteen for the knights, nine for the Death Stalkers. Let's probably end this here. One, two, three, four. One, one, one. This one's going to attack down. Three normally. Height, glyph. Two. Dead. This knight is going to attack this death stalker. Three normally. One for the glyph. For one. Blocked. Okay. This Death Stalker is just going to take his turn. That is going to be. Okay. He's going to attack that knight there. For none. Knights are going to go. All right, first, water boy. He's gonna drop in the water and take a swing. Three normally, one for the glyph. He's attacking up. This one. All right. Five normally, one from height. Blocked. Now this knight is gonna attack across. Three normally, one for the glyph. For three. And could not block it. Oh, that was the closest so far the knights have come to losing with only five knights left. That was a better match than the dwarves, that's for sure. All right. Well. I feel a lot better about that one. Still thinking about what I did to Crixus, though, for getting his ability. Would the gladiators be facing the Deathstalkers right now? I don't know. I could... No, nah, I'm not going to go back. Not going to go back. You snooze, you lose. That's the rule. And I 
snoozed and lost on myself, and now it'll haunt my dreams forever.